At the computer-based math summit here in London, I have been very lucky to see people from wide-reaching parts of the world, from the UN to uh, here, local government officials, to American higher education leaders, to high school teachers. And one of the things that's a sort of a fundamental truth amongst all these people is they're passionate about making the change to computer-based math. But many of them, maybe until now, haven't seen how. So the summit, at least for me, is starting to put together the pieces of how you start to make that change. I think it's interesting to hear um, different perspectives from different people, um, particularly from different countries and so on, um, see how it compa the situation here compares with, with elsewhere. Some of the conversations that are being had are around um, how to prepare teachers to do this. So one thing that's primarily on my mind is are teachers prepared to ask better questions? Because with more powerful tools, you can delve deeper. And the current state of education is such that math teachers are, were trained in the theory of hand calculating. So how can, you, how can you train teachers and use professional development to create teachers that are prepared to ask more in-depth questions? And so th that's really where my mind is going and why I've, um, I've been trying to pick the brains of people. How do, how do we do that? I really enjoyed uh, the depth of the conversation. That was a big part for me of that I think is a big success, that fundamental issues were raised and discussed at enough uh, depths and breadth. And this happened because there are people from different walks of life. My hope is to continue this conversation remotely, to uh, collaborate and act together online and in distributed time and then uh, meet again. It's pretty clear to me there are going to be a couple of next steps. So there are social media groups that are going to build from this conference. Uh, people are exchanging information and will continue to be on Twitter and exchange uh, ideas. On the other side of things, there were real, actual political leaders here at the summit. So those people, for the first time, had to face the withering questions of the active participants in computer-based math. So I, I hope that there will be both sort of a systemic change from the politicians and a really deep movement building. I think this has to happen because we are in a world where we're running to stand still. Um, I think what perhaps needs to happen next, most important to happen next, is that we start making sure we are working towards the needs, whether it's the needs of the student, whether it's the needs of their future, uh, whether it be in training, in education or in industry or in whatever um, their future goals are. And I think the thing that enables it really is probably the technology. I'm confident in the materials and the resources that uh, Wolfram is creating. And to be able to start using those in classrooms, even on a small scale or on a large scale, but locally at a certain um, like-minded school, I think will gain momentum. Uh, because the idea behind this is that you're really creating better mathematical thinkers and so once you can implement that and show that you're actually creating better math students, I think the idea will, will spread and it'll take care of itself.